The last weekend of rodeo, part of NRG Center gets a huge makeover. Instead of livestock, this part of the center is full of ag mechanics projects. We got 1,500 kids from 250 different school districts that have made a metal project. From next level chicken coops and lighted horse trailers. Starting from scratch with the raw metal. To self dumping hay trailers and plasma tables. For my senior project this year, I decided to build a CNC plasma table because I want to start my own metal fabrication business. Silverton FFA's Lindy Miller started putting this together over Christmas break. Since then, I've had four ag periods a day, and so I work on it during the day and then after school until like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, and it's just putting a lot of work into the details of everything. She plans to put it to use at her family's cotton farm, where she'll be able to design and cut out metal signs and machine parts. I know that some of our equipment is older and they discontinue the parts just because it is a little outdated. Zeke Pate. I'm nine years old and I'm in third grade. Made this gate for his family's property in Tilden. Yes. He and his partner fabricated it, cutting the metal, welding and weaving it, even burning and treating the wood. We spent about six months, but only one day a week. By comparison, restoring this tractor. It took me about a year and nine months, uh, about 240 hours. Klein Forest senior William Harrison says he learned patience and consistency on top of basic repair skills. I'm going to go to um, college at Navarro and uh, go into their John Deere program and become a John Deere technician. This contest preps them for a career. Uh, it could prep them for a career in welding. It could prep them for a career in construction. Some of these kids will go straight into the workforce which is why the contest also hosted a job fair. We're helping kids find careers, high paying jobs. And maybe most importantly, a passion for dreaming, building, and creating. I'm always gonna use the skills that I've learned in, in ag mechanics and in school. So if you wanna see all of these projects for yourself, you gotta pop into NRG Center that last weekend of rodeo next year. Reporting from the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, Brady Smith, KHOU 11 News.